Hi students, I hope all are fine. So today we are going to learn about Bhagat Singh. Okay, the will of sacrifice. As you know, Bhagat Singh was a person who was a revolutionary. Okay, who fought for our freedom. Okay, the freedom of our motherland India. So here we will be learning about him, his life and also a couple of letters which he had written for the uh, for the revolution okay though he was he was sentenced to prison even then he wrote in order to make the people aware that we need to attain freedom so we are going to learn about Bhagat Singh a great revolutionary so the chapter's name is the will of sacrifice okay so Bhagat Singh was born on September 27, 1907 in Khatkar, Kalan, Punjab in British India. His grandfather Arjun Singh, father Kishan Singh and uncle Ajit Singh were all active in the freedom struggle. Young Bhagat Singh came in contact with some well-known political leaders like Lala Lajapat Rai and Ras Bihari Bose while studying at the local DAV school in Lahore in 1916. In response to Mahatma Gandhi's call for non-cooperation against British rule in 1921, Bhagat Singh left, school, left his school and joined the national school at Lahore. This school was a center of revolutionary activities. Here he came in contact with revolutionaries such as Bhagavati Charan, Sukhdev and others. He became a member of the Hindustan Republican Association formed by the revolutionaries of Uttar Pradesh. There, there he was initiated into their firebrand activities. Okay, as we know, Bhagat Singh was born in the year 1907 in September on tw September 27. Okay, and he was born in Punjab in the British India, and his father was Kishan Singh and his grandfather Arjan Singh all were very active members of the freedom struggle. Okay, so as a young boy, he was studying, he was studying in DAV school in Lahore, but he came to know the call of Gandhiji for non cooperation as a means to attain freedom against British. So, what did he do? He left his school and joined. The national school at Lahore. But what happened? When he joined, he understood that there were revolutionaries, okay, those who were not following the path of Mahatma Gandhiji, that of non violence, but there were others who wanted to take violence in order to get the freedom. So he happened to get in touch with Bhagavad Charan, Sugadev, and others who were great revolutionaries. And what did he do? They initiated him in order to be one of the members of firebrand activity a firebrand means violence activities the revolutionaries were branded as terrorists by the british government they believed that the british rule was unjust and oppressive therefore it was legitimate on their part to use violence as a weapon to overthrow the foreigners they used bombs and guns against the british and robbed their establishments. Their ideas differed from the Gandhian idea of a freedom movement based on non-violence or ahimsa. Okay, so as I said, they got into firebrand activities, violent activities, and all these revolutionaries were named as terrorists. Okay, were branded as terrorists by the British. But these people, these revolutionaries, what did they think? They thought that British were unjust and they were oppressing people of India. So they considered this, the, the act of revolution as something legitimate, as something, something true or correct for them to do. And they wanted to take violence and they were not following the path of Gandhiji or his idea of non, uh, idea of non-violence or ahimsa. But they were taking um, they were they wanted to attain freedom by using use uh, by the usage of violence 
Bhagat Singh is remembered today not only as a bold revolutionary figure but also as a great thinker. He was steeped in the power, in the best traditions of socialistic thought. That theory advocated collective or state ownership of the means of production that is land, labor and capital. This is born out of the numerous letters, pamphlets and articles that he wrote in the course of his short turbulent life in prison. He wrote that revolution does not mean violence but the spirit of freedom, the longing for a change for the better. Okay, so even the society considered Bhagat Singh as a great person because he spoke against the capitalists, against these British. What did they what were they doing? They used to take the land of people and they would make the people work in that and they would take the surplus they would take the crops or they would take the materials that are yielded in the in the land so these british were oppressing people so he worked against that he worked against the rule of the land labor and the capital of the british what he wanted was freedom and he said revolution does not mean violence okay these are very very uh which is a very nice words of bhagat singh he said the spirit of freedom is what we mean by revolution okay revolution does not mean violence but the spirit of freedom and also the longing for a change for the better then he then the incident that brought a total change in the life of Bhagat Singh was a brutal attack by the police on veteran freedom fighter Lala Lajapat Rai at an anti-British protest procession. It resulted in the death of Lajapat Rai on November 17, 1928 in Lahore. Bhagat Singh determined to avenge Lajapat Rai's death by shooting the British official responsible for the killing. Deputy Inspector General Scott, he shot down Assistant Superintendent Saunders instead, make, mistaking him for Scott. He threw bombs in the Central Assembly Hall while the assembly was in a session. The bombs did not hurt anyone, but the noise they made was loud enough to wake up an enslaved nation from a deep slumber. Okay, what triggered Bhagat Singh was the incident against Lala Lajapat Rai. Okay, the British attacked Lala Lajapat Rai, which resulted in his death. So Bhagat Singh wanted to avenge the death of Lajapat Rai. So what did he do? There was General Scott. He was the person responsible for killing Lajapat Rai. So Bhagat Singh wanted to kill him. So what did he do? He went there took a gun and he shot superintendent assistant superintendent saunders instead of scott okay he mistakenly killed the assistant superintendent thinking that it was scott okay and not only that he he dropped a bomb in the gen, in the assembly okay in the central assembly hall while assembly was in session but nobody was hurt but this made a great noise which resulted in the awakening of the nation okay because the nation heard this noise loud voice thing and they awoke saying they also needed freedom for all the aggressive activities he was tried by the british courts in india and was awarded death sentence death did not deter bhagat singh he kept the spark of free freedom alive through his letters written from the jail cell. Thus, he proved that the value of a man lies not in what he is capable of receiving, but in what he is capable of giving. Two of the letters that he wrote, one to his fellow freedom fighters and the other to his brothers, tell, tell us what kind of freedom fighter Shahid Bhagat Singh was. Okay, so. Bhagat Singh was caught by the British and they sentenced him to death because of for killing the superintendent and also okay, killing the assistant superintendent and also 
dropping a bomb in the central assembly hall so because of that he was caught and he was put in prison and he was awarded with death sentence okay uh, bhagat singh knew that he would be uh, he would be killed okay they would uh, they they would hang him or they would kill him he would get a death sentence so he started writing letters he wrote two letters one to the freedom fighters and the other to his brothers okay so these two letters we will be dealing with in the next class what what are the things that that are written there in the in the letters in those two letters we shall see in the next class okay so bhagat singh was a person these two letters will help us to know what kind of a freedom fighter bhagat singh was okay so that's about bhagat singh and there are some questions here who actively participated in the freedom struggle from bhagat singh's family there are six of uh, six more questions okay kindly go through the questions and write the answers all right so i hope today's class is clear to you thank you and bye